Hi everybody, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. It's time to show you all the pictures I coloured in the month of July. I coloured 20. I'm quite pleased with that because I was on holiday for part of the time, so of course I'm not really doing much. These aren't in particular order, although some of them are in order. It's just because they end up getting mixed up depending on what I'm doing if I do another one in the book. So obviously we did this one on camera, I believe. Sherry Bold is my best as Santa's little helper. I didn't do a background, but we did this cute little one with, uh, I believe it would have been oh hoo hoo markers, possibly. <laughs> and some gel pens and some Wink of Stella. I enjoyed doing her. I like this book. I think she's really sweet. So this was for Christmas in July. It was also for the Lavella's hashtag colour my hoard. July 2021 because I hadn't coloured in it before so I'm glad now that's another book off of my shelf that's got all the books I haven't coloured in so there's that one uh, the next one I did three in the Sally Berry book uh, 300 mandalas and I took this on holiday so that's I mean I slowly did three in a week um, so I did this one this was using those gel pens I got off the magazine the scented strange coloured ones so that's what they look like. Not too bad. And now my battery's decided to go. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so yeah, that was with the, the pens that came on the cover of that magazine free. Not bad. Not bad. They're all right, actually. Then I did this one. Oops, pulling the next one, not this one. Using the, oh, I've ripped the page. The uh, A&R ones, I think. And probably some link shine mixed in there for good measure because I just use whatever I've got to hand. And this one was just a black and silver one. It's just all black and silver, and I just like the way it, it looks. So it's all black and silver. So those are the three I did in that one. I'll probably do some more this month because I really like this book. Um, it's easy to use, so yeah. I did one in, oh, I can't breathe, Jade Summers 50 Easy Mandalas. And it was this one. Can't remember what markers I used on this one. Let me just have a look. Probably the the Amazon ones, I think. But I don't. I, yeah, I think it was the Amazon ones. Anyway, still nice. Just a nice, easy pattern. I do like this book. It's so easy when you don't want to think complex. You just want to put some colour down. I quite like this book for that. It's just nice, nice and simple. Uh, the next one is the first of three buddy colours I did with Chelsea Jade Murray colouring. And the first one was this one. So this was done with the markers, oh hoo hoo I think, yeah. Um, and some pencil. And then on the top there is some uh, metallic paint. I don't know if you can see it shining. Yeah, there. Let's see. On various parts of it. Um, so yeah, I like Chelsea's as well. It was really fun to do. And we had a really good time. So yeah, we must, we must have had a good time because we did three in uh, July. Colour by number, beautiful patterns, as you know. Oh, I've done two in this one. I do love the Jade Summer colour by numbers. And again, these would have been done with the Ohuhu markers, I believe. Just that one. Yeah, this is Ohuhu. And that would have been done with the same. I like the Ohuhu markers. They're cheap, cheap enough for me to use in here, not worry. Uh, I do like them. Love those two. Again, I just like doing them, they're nice and simple. I don't have to worry too much about it just because it's the numbers are there and they tell me what colours. So for Christmas in July, I did two in a colour by number Christmas. Again, again using, this was I think using the... This we're still using the oh hoo I have to think sometimes. But the next one I did just using gel pens, glitter gel pens. Um, mixtures of various ones including Aeon, Link Shine and the Chromatech ones. So because there's a, almost a white one in there as you can see I've, I've actually done the white spaces. But it was fun to do one with glitter gel pens. I thought I'd give it a try and it, it looks really nice. I really like that one. You know I don't talk a hell of a lot about the pictures. Uh, this is Cute Christmas. This is a whip I started ages ago, but it's also the first one in the book, so technically it's both Christmas and July, and Callum Horde 2021. 
I got tons to colour my hoard, you'll see that soon when I do my complete book collection. And I did this gingerbread man and I started him ages ago, I think it was Christmas in July last year or even the year before and I just couldn't finish him so there he is on his little multicoloured dance floor, some white squares and some multicoloured squares. Um, yeah, so again, mostly gel pens on this, some markers, can't remember which ones, but mostly, mostly gel pens. Another one for Colour My Hoard 2021 is Kawaii Christmas. Got this last Christmas, never coloured in it, so thought I'd do it for Christmas in July. And again, Colour My Hoard, another one off. And I did this one. And again, this was done using various markers, the Amazon ones, uh, the Oh Hoo Hoo, and of course some glitter gel pen. And I don't know what that is, that white one. Um, I have no idea, I think it's, I'm not actually sure what that is. What I used on that now to put the snow on. It's not a glue pen. It's not a gel pen. It almost looks like paint. It must have been a it must have been a gel pen, so I'm not worrying about it, but I like it. It's nice. It was fun to do. And like I said, it's another one off of my Jade Summer I haven't coloured in this book pile. Hooray! A lot of jade summer this month. This is the next one that I did with a Chelsea Jade Murray Buddy Color. And we both did this fairy having a morning coffee or tea in my case it would be because I don't drink coffee. And yeah, I really, again, I enjoyed doing this. I, I do these ones and I think, oh, I don't really want to do all these background bits without the books and the files and the paper, but I got on with it. It was fine. She got sparkly wings because she's a fairy. But that's about it with the sparkle on that one. But yeah, it was good fun doing that with Chelsea. I really enjoyed it. And there's one more to come. But yeah, so close up. Again, that would have been the Oh Hoo Hoo markers, possibly with a couple of odd ones from other packs as well. Uh, Ava Brown, this is from their new book, Cute Mermaids. This was just done very, very quickly with various markers, again, uh, probably oh hoo hoo because of the two three different greys that are on there but again it was fun didn't bother with any glitter it was just a basic colour because I wanted something to colour on so I did that one and you'll see on the next one which is also a Ava Brown why I had to buy something to, uh, clipboard to do my things on I've got a clipboard now as you can see it's called at the tunnel it's turned up, I can't even speak turned up at the corner as because they get battered around because I start them and then they just can put them inside. Now I've got a clipboard, I can put them inside of it so that they don't. And this was um, from Secret Village Summer. And this was using the Amazon markers again. And it's such a cute little picture. There's a few in that book I want to do when I get chance. On to our girl Deborah Muller. Uh, again, this is the one we did on camera. This is Pippa. Again, no background. But I do like this. I love these portraits. I think they're absolutely fantastic. So she's got a little bit of glitter pen on her. Some on her, her wings, which I smudged. And I don't know if it does. It does glitter a little bit, but not a huge amount. A little bit on her dress and some in her bow. Um, some polychromos over her cheeks to give her a bit of blusher. And some gel pen also on her star and her moon. So I really enjoyed that. I like this book. I think it's so cute. Which is Compendium now from Colour in Heaven. I did two of these, did both of these on holiday. This is the first one I did. I haven't put a tag in the other one for some reason, but heck, I think it's only the second page, isn't it? Um, again, that was just done with the Oh Hoo Hoo markers because I took them on holiday and a bit of gel pen. And I just did this sitting out on the deck outside, two shades of, well, three shades of red and some other colours. But it was, it was fun. I enjoyed it. You see the bottom there. I mean, can't really, but it's because the camera won't go any further. I don't know, they were a bit. Oh, now you see my bookcase. <laughs> like that. So that was fun. And the other one I did this, you saw in Whipping the Whips. There's the tag, it's gone inside. That was done with the Prisma colours and various gel pens for the sparkle, uh, whatever it is she's, fairy dust or whatever she's sparkling around and on her dress. And for the sky and the grass, I used a colourless marker, blender marker, just to even it out a bit. There's two different shades on the sky, 
just to make it look a bit different and then on on the graphs but I enjoyed this I love this piece of art this is Selena Fennec I do love her pictures anyway so I really enjoyed doing that one really enjoyed that one we're nearly there now only two to go the next one is from more oh, take that a piece of blotting paper put that down there uh, from the only such and such diva uh, book I own at the moment I'm sure it will change and it is the 50 diamond Man mandalas color by numbers and I did the first one in here I like to do the pattern books in order it's just the way I work it's just me and ooh. yeah because that's this book I want to and I did the first one and this was using the various markers it was the 48 set from Amazon along with um, one from the skin tone set and other random ones that I couldn't find and I'll just do it like that because I, I quite enjoyed that and those Amazon markers are only like a tenner for the piece per set so for that it's, it's not so bad I probably will do some more in that this month because I do like that book so that was fun and the last one I did is uh, was another buddy colour and the last buddy colour of the month with Jade Summer and we did uh, Jade Summer with Chelsea Murray it's because we've done so many Jade Summers this month and we did one in Johanna Basford's World of Wonders and we did the, the ship and um, so it was, this was again done with Prismacolors um, that's the hot pink Prismacolor on there and then the background, because I hate doing backgrounds, this is just um, a pink metallic paint that I've got, which I quite like that. And I've got some glossy accents, as you can see, on the globe. So it's like they're floating in a void, but this globe is keeping the stars in. Or this, you know, I, I, I actually quite enjoy doing this. We'll hopefully do some more buddy colours uh, in August. I really hope so, because I've really enjoyed doing this. So this is the last one. So that's what I coloured in the month of July. Um, yeah, it was a good month. I mean, only 20, but the 20 is good. I mean, I've done a lot of pencils there and in, in the other books as well and, and lots of pictures rather than lots of patterns, even if they were marker pictures. So I've had a lot, I've, I've had a really good month. So I hope you've enjoyed these finished pages. Which one is your favourite? I think this one's mine, even though I'm not keen on the background, it's a bit splotchy. I think I just had so much fun putting down some metallic paint and using the glossy accents for the first time. I do quite like the way it looks. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on the best way of using it, um, but I do like the way it looks. So I probably will at some point invest in a bigger bottle. I don't know where I've put my little bottle. It's around somewhere. <sighs> yeah. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everybody.